There he is. That's him. That's him. No! Woo! Oh, there's dinner. Okay, we can't lose this. Oh, he lost it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Today, we're going to be fishing these beautiful little creeks, and it is such a special little area. Huge brown trout down here. Believe me when I tell you, they make you absolutely work. But once you snag them, it is totally worth the trip. We're gonna start off fly fishing big areas like this. Then it gets super, super dense with all the trees. Gonna move over to the spinning reel after that. Hope you guys enjoy this adventure. And this is why we come to places like this. Look at this, this is absolutely insane. And this is why this fishing is so hard. You have to be sneaking around spots like this. You gotta, especially fly fishing in here. It's super hard and I'm not that great at it. Cause you can't even roll cast in here. And if you can get the streamer just to head a little bit, you can load cast like this to get it down. But you gotta be so careful because there's trees everywhere behind you. I don't wanna say I'm good because I'm not, but you like, I, lots of people give up in here. And I did too, lots at the start to just get used to losing hooks. And then you finally get better and you start getting good casts. And then you finally get hookups and it's the most addicting thing I promise you you'll ever freaking do. And a trick to this spot, I gotta be quiet when you guys are talking. You see the current, just feed it off like this. You just let it take it down. That's all you can do in spots like this. And hopefully you're gonna hook up to one because they're gonna be hanging out on the opposite side of the current, like in that spot right there where there's less flow, waiting for bugs to go by. So you just feed it down the stream and you can kind of guide it back, just like this when you're stripping back and right on the edges. Oh, there he goes. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was a hard hit. Oh my God, I gotta get in the water probably. We're gonna lose him. Oh, the tank. Oh my God, look at it go. Oh my God, we're gonna lose it in the weeds. What a beauty. Come here. Oh my God, I'm nervous. We've been working so hard today, you guys. I had to switch to the spinning reel. I, could, I can't get one. This is our first one in like six hours. Gotta take our time, we cannot screw this up or horse it. Come here. Oh God, what a pretty hand, oh my God. Just flashing gold. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God, what a big hand. Holy cow, what a princess. We're clearly not gonna be keeping this one. Just get some nice pictures and back she will go. Oh my God. Oh, look how red she is. Just a freaking bar of gold. This is a pretty hand. Gosh darn it, this is a nice, nice fish. What a gorgeous fish. Oh yes, nice release, perfect. Keep her in best health as we can. These are why we come here. Like, it, you work so hard. I'm sorry guys, I haven't gotten very many fish today opposed to like last time. We got like five or six, five or six by the time this, like last time with this amount of time, but they are not biting today. I'm surprised we even got this one. This one, this, they're one this big. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay guys, quick release. Oh, there she goes. Holy cow, what a freaking fish. <laughs> So we're gonna try and get one, obviously we're not gonna keep on that big. Catch and cook, a little bit smaller. We'll see what else we can come up with today. Oh, we had a hit. Oh, he missed again. He missed, I seen it twice. I gotta be really quiet. I seen the, the water, if you guys wanna know if a fish actually, if hits it or not, it'll look like a lot of swirls and bubbles in the water. I seen the swirls and I seen another hit right here. I think the bite, we're getting into a bite window. Cause like I was saying earlier, we fished for like six hours, we got nothing. And now we got that big hen and now within five minutes, we're getting hits. So we're gonna keep trying this and hopefully get a little small one to eat. Oh, there he is, gotcha. That's him, that's, a, no, oh, there goes dinner. There goes dinner. Oh, it looked like a small one too. Oh! Woo! So another thing, if you guys hook up a fish and he does that and he gets off, then they're not gonna bite in here again. 
it's time to vamanus and go upstream and hopefully get something else. And my go-to is streamers. I got weighted streamers now running on this trout rod. I'll, 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 if you guys are interested, I'll tell you how I got this rod set up, but it has to be specifically set up for, um, for casting really light lures or it's never gonna work. But essentially I got six pound suffix, 832nd. It's equivalent to like two or three pound mono and it's got a fast action eight foot 13 fishing rod. That's all I'm gonna say for now. So let's get fishing. There we go. Oh, there's dinner. Okay, we can't lose this. Oh, we lost it. Oh, it's out of the water. No. No. No, he bamboozled us. Oh, God. If we would have caught him right there, that would have been absolutely epic. But we didn't. That's too bad, man. Those little ones too, they go a little more crazy. The bigger ones stay deeper a lot more and will fight more down low. The big, the smaller ones just fly all over. So we didn't maybe get into good enough hook set. Whew, that's intense, man. This is so freaking fun. Oh, that's another hit. That was a hit. You seen the swirls? We gotta get back in there. Right meow. Right meow. <laughs> overreact you're gonna scare the fish did you guys see that jump right there i'm gonna show you something it's probably gone by now i can't really cast in here from where i'm at right now i'm gonna show you trout do not need much water they will cruise up and down these little creeks go go through two to three inches of water just going right up and down but i actually thought it was a little uh, shallower here but give or take it's about 12 inches here but that goes without saying they do not need much water and that's why they're so fascinating how long they can last in here and just throughout the winter time they find their little holes they pretty much stay in those spots they don't move it's quite the lifestyle so it's kind of interesting creek fishing in general that's why i think i appreciate it more than like regular fishing off a boat or anything like that and this is um kind of the tough parts but the, it's kind of cool bushwhacking through places like this Whoa. a little full in here now and scare all my fishies oh yeah there we go there we go nice oh that's a keeper i think that's a keeper come here yep 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 Oh my god, it came off the net. It came off the hook. Oh my god, we just caught in time. <laughs> okay, we finally got a freaking eater here. It's about, oh, it's pushing 10, 10 and a half, but it'll do. Nothing bigger though. You don't want to keep anything bigger than that, but that's borderline. We've been working so hard for these fish today. Oh my god. It's like eight, we're up to eight hours now. We finally got something we can eat. So we're gonna keep this guy fried up. We're gonna use some special salt we got this time. We can try something a little different. And I'm so freaking pumped. I'll meet you guys at the fryer. First thing we're gonna do, you guys, we're gonna clean this baby up. I'm gonna show you guys the way I do it. And it's, I think this is the best way. I'm not even joking anymore. All you do is take the guts out, just rip the, the head off with all the rest of the guts. And that's about it. Because the, the way I cook this is that we cook the whole thing whole. You don't have to worry about taking the skin off because it's gonna fall off. And another thing too, the bones too, they're gonna come right out. So essentially I find any more, like I like cooking the whole thing whole and the bones, since then this way you'll never miss bones. Cause if you take the bones out and you flay the bones out, you may miss some pin bones or miss some actual ribs. This way when the trout is actually cooked, what's gonna happen is, is that all the bones are just, the meat's just gonna fall right off. If you guys haven't seen that, you're gonna be absolutely thrilled. Cause I think it's pretty darn cool. And just cut behind the head, just like that. You gotta make sure that uh, the sides too and go like that and just like that. And that's all we did. It's absolutely done. Completely gutted, cleaned, heads off. And the blue stuff in here, that's the kidneys for the fish. All you do is take your thumb and ream it out. I don't know, there's something about cooking trout this way. I really like doing it this way. It's whole, it makes you, I don't know. It's just, I think it tastes better too. And all I do now is just trim up the, the fins. And there are wild trout in here as well and stock trout. This is the adipose fin. So if a trout has that, it's a wild one. So this was a wild one. Lots of people like cooking these too, the fins. Like as long as you get them really, really crispy, it's not that bad. We're ready to throw it in the pan. We're just gonna actually score it a little bit. Just so it absorbs the flavor. Cause we got some pretty cool 
Uh, salt we're gonna add. Who else is a kombucha fan? It will change your lifestyle. This stuff is good. And it helps your guts a lot. Helps with anxiety. Try it. You're only supposed to have one a day, by the way. Ow! Now I'm gonna show you guys. And we're doing this with the stir fry again. We're actually kind of pieced our own stir fry together today. Because the last time we did this, and what a deadly combination. And this is, we got some Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and broccoli. And this is our uh, salt. We got this lemon dill. And it's got sea salt in it. You guys can take a good look at it. It's got sea salt, dehydrated vegetables, onion, garlic, spices, lemon peels, natural and artificial flavors, vegetable oil, and canola. So this thing is going to be mint on there. And we're just going to cook everything in regular canola oil. Best way to do it. And on the end, we throw a bunch of pepper on it, mainly on top of the stir fry. I never uh, go too fancy with the food. Never fancy, always tasty. Oh, why don't we turn the propane tank on? Probably gonna help. But I always have my barrel rod because I have forgotten uh, lighters and everything lots of times, but these always sit in the truck. So that way we always got something. You guys are new to the channel, hit the subscription button. Uh, I try to do weekly videos as much as I can, but if not, you guys don't have to subscribe. Enjoy the video, don't matter, either way, all good. But I try to do weekly content as much as I can, providing. Time's always hard. Very hard. It's all pre-mixed, like I said, broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. Very good. We're going to put this dill on it. I absolutely love this way to cook trout. When you know it's done, the skin's going to fall off, and you can just grab the bones and pull the meat right off it. We're gonna put quite a bit of this. Cause this is gonna be absolutely beautiful. I actually wanna get some in the inside too. Like just load this thing right up. Oh, that smells really good. Like really good. I'm not even exaggerating. Easiest way to cook trout too. I don't like getting too fancy at all like I was saying. I think it takes the whole natural flavor of it, which I like to keep as much as I can. And the best thing about the trout being whole, if you guys have noticed in the past and other people, including myself, if you cut them in half, you put the flays on, they fold up like a bugger. This way it cooks more evenly. I get just the weight to hold it down on the pan. So it's kind of nicer way. Another nice way of doing it this way. So the trout's pretty much done. We got all the spices and everything on it. And it really opens up where the cuts are too. So it gets a lot of flavor in there. I'm gonna show you how sick this is. And it just comes right off. I know, it fascinates me every time. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that if you guys watch my videos all the time. But it's just it's such, a, such an easy way to do this. It's just so neat. It's freaking hot though. <laughs> That's hot. That's really hot. Skinny. Lots of guys try to flay the skin off, but it's it, it's really hard to get the skin off. It's so thin too. So I'd never recommend doing that. See, look, like this, it's just so cool. No point of ever taking the bone. Because this way, like I was saying, I know I'm a broken record, but you're not ever going to miss anything. Kind of neat to see the bone structure too. And there it is. There's all the pin bones up there. The regular bones, and that's it. Just like that. I can smell these spices. It's incredible. I do like, I know what's on the, the salmon there or the trout, but I still want to put a little pepper. Check this out. Oh my gosh. It's just, oh, does that smell good? Oh, it smells good. Taste test. Just a little piece of the trout first. Well, that lemon, man, this stuff, check it out again. Oh my God, super good. We got this locally too. You really taste that lemon dill. Brings out the flavor. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. Oh God, this is good. And you know, stream trout like this is so much better than pond trout. I said this before, I know. Because they're moving around, the water's fresher other than stagnant water all the time. So if you have an opportunity to go for stream trout, river trout, creek trout, Oh yeah. Oh my God. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to watch more videos like this, click here or here. More river creek fishing. You know it. Hit the subscription. Help me out. Thanks a lot.